so today's tutorial is kind of a review demo sort of a thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. I'm like trying to think about what today's tutorial is about. So I recently bought these guys by Fade4. This is the lightweight hairspray and this is the texture takeover. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> I follow them, Fade4, on Instagram and after seeing all their Instagram posts and everybody saying such nice things about their products, I was like, gotta try them. So um, this one is probably the most popular one or the one that a lot of people buy is the texture takeover. So I knew I definitely wanted to buy this. And then this is the lightweight hairspray and that's new for me because I don't wear hairspray. I always mention in my videos. So yeah, I did try this out in my little review demo that you're about to see. So I'm just gonna let you guys know, I do love the product. So <laughs> I kind of gave it away, but at least you could see how I use them. They make a couple different hairsprays too. So you don't have to get the lightweight one. If you want like, like lots of hairspray and that's, you know, that's what you like. Do you boo boo, you can get a different one. Um, I got this one because it also says that it makes your hair shiny, so I like that. So I'm actually using these products for the first time. The day that they got in the mail, it was so hard not to use them, but I was like, no, I wanna do it on camera after I curl my hair. And it really helped that my hair was like greasy and in a hair mask, so I didn't wanna spray them in my hair anyway. So I do try them for the first time in this tutorial. So I do so many hair tutorials and I know you guys like are probably tired of seeing me do them. Today's tutorial is more about what to do to get that big, sexy, like bedhead look after you curl your hair. So I do show how I curl it. Um, I'm using the Marcel curling iron today. This thing, uh, we have a love-hate relationship. We're like still working through our issues. Um, <laughs> my friend uh, Cassie actually did a tutorial. I will put her YouTube down below and she mentioned me and it's saying like, Sam, I know you don't know how to use this, so I'm gonna teach you. So she actually did a very detailed tutorial on how you use this, so you should check out her video on that because it's way like more detailed and professional than mine is because she's actually a professional hairstylist, whereas me, I was like, I need it, and I bought it, and yeah, I kind of didn't really know what I was doing. So I taught myself a completely different way than how she teaches you. I, I kind of do it like the beginner's way. So, so the way I do this is pretty similar to the last hair tutorial that I did with the clip. And basically we're going to point this down. I'm going to wrap it around once this time. So that time I did it twice. This time we're only going to do it once because it's a bigger barrel. I'm going to slide it down like that. See my fingers are still holding on. And the, the spring is up. Now I'm going to clamp it down. I'm going to spin this around. Pull it down a little bit like that, and voila. to do is tease. So I'm using a comb like this and I did this in my last hair tutorial but just in case you didn't see it and because I want to make it more full, I start teasing in the center of my hair, like the middle right here. Middle is a better way to say it, not the center. Um, the middle of my hair and that's going to make it more fluffy and when people ask like if I have hair extensions or this or that, I'm like no, it's just because I have layers as you can see. And I like to really fluff this up because that's what's gonna give your hair a more fuller look. So you can just work with what you got. So I think you can go about it whichever way you want. You do you boo boo, but I think I'm gonna start with the texture takeover. Okay, so. Oh wow, it does smell really good. <laughs> Every Everyone was saying that these products smell really good. Oh my god, they do. Wow. I love that. I 
I didn't think it was gonna like work so fast. Like I thought I was just gonna have to keep playing with it. And I was like a little bit nervous to like try this for the first time on camera. But wow, it like, it really does just like, gives it that look that I love, like that fluffy look. Wow, look at that. So pretty, I love it. All right, now we're gonna go in with the hairspray. This is the lightweight, glossy hairspray. Okay, so if you, all right, so this is my opinion on this. If you're like me and you hate hair, this doesn't even feel like hairspray. That's why I keep spraying it because I'm like, wait, it's not coming out. It's very lightweight. I don't know, it's like a mist. Like, can you see that? <laughs> well, I will definitely keep you updated, like in other hair tutorials, if this made my hair hold, because hairspray, you can't really tell right away. It's going to be hours from now if I know if that really worked. Like the textured stuff, this one, I mean, that worked right away. You could just see, like, it just really made my hair nice and fluffy. And then the lightweight hairspray, love the way it feels, love the way it smells, but we will see if that holds in. Squad. Oh, and also, you probably already know this if you watch my channel, but today is a bonus video. Yes! When I have time, well, extra time during the week, I post bonus videos, and normally I upload videos every Monday and Wednesday. So if you are new to my channel, come see me then, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!